Hello, this is Anthony from Sensing. In this video you'll learn how incredibly quick and easy it is to get started with mapping and ingesting your own data into G2. Two recommendations. If you haven't already, you'll find it very useful to have reviewed and completed the installation and quick start materials. Additionally, I'd recommend having a quick flick through the generic entity specification document. Both these materials are located in the Sensing Zen Desk under the Quick Start Guide section. Now, what is data mapping? Very simply, it's the process that informs G2 of the meaning of the attributes in your source data and subsequently how they will be treated within G2. For example, mapping tells G2 column 6 in a CSV file contains addresses, column 3 holds gender, and name data is located in column 2. Let's get cracking with an example scenario. Florence, two floors up in marketing, just popped down with a file of customer data to be utilized in the up and coming entity analytics marketing project. She is dependent on you to get this customer data loaded into G2 as the first of many sources for the project. You see the file is a CSV and take a peek to see what you're dealing with and notice it looks fairly straightforward. Florence was even kind enough to remember to include a header this time. You set about mapping the customer file. This is achieved by creating a new header where the column names are set to the G2 terms as described in the generic entity specification. Customer ID is mapped to record ID, gender to gender, F name to name first, S name to name last, DOB to date of birth, address to add a full, phone num to phone number, and lastly, social num maps to SSN number. Now save the file with the new mapping information. And with that, mapping is complete for this source. Time to load the customer data. The G2 Loader tool is used to load the customer file, capital P to purge the existing repository, because in this instance we want to start afresh, lowercase f to specify the mapped file name, followed by some additional arguments to name this data source and inform G2 to the format of the inbound file. The loading process starts. G2 provides us with some feedback during and on completion of the load. And now the customers are loaded and have been analyzed and persisted by G2. Next, you set about sanity checking the load and mapping before informing Florence of its completion. This is achieved by generating the reporting information with the G2 report tool, launching the G2 quick view and audit tool, and perusing the results of G2's analytics. Great job. You've mapped, loaded, and analyzed the customer data from Florence before she even had time to take the stairs back up to her office. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. And if you have any questions or feedback, please reach out to us at support at sensing.com.